guys, so today is the day. I'm very nervous. I'm just about to head down to the yard to sort everything out and get everything ready. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, I didn't sleep at all last night. I'm so nervous, but so, so excited. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head down to the yard now and we'll get everything ready. So guys, if you've been following me on Instagram, which you should be, it's our little pet channel, you will know that I've been telling you that I have got a big secret to reveal today and I can finally tell you that Mr. Smokey is moving Livriard. So this is the last time he will ever be in this stable and I'm so excited to move him. I found an incredible Livriard. Um, and he's gonna be so much happier. So this is his stable um, and what I had to do this morning is just empty it all out, obviously, because I need to leave an empty stable and get him on the trailer. Now, I didn't film that bit because obviously I was busy trying to get him on and I only having one leg at the moment because obviously my other ankle isn't doing very well. Um, it's all kind of very stressful, but luckily my mum and my trainer came with me. Now I'm not the only one leaving the livery, there's actually quite a few liveries leaving, but the one that's coming with me is my friend Carol, who you may have seen me hack out with. So her horse bow was also on the trailer. Um, so we got down there, we emptied everything out, we took all the stuff and we got the boys loaded and then we headed to the new livery. So this is having arrived at the new livery and we took the boys on and off in bridles, hence why we're putting bridles on them over their head collars. So Mr. Bo came out first and he was very well behaved. Bo is the nice calm pony to Smokey's kind of crazy. But actually Mr. Smokes came off really well as well. My mum just led him off for me because again I only have one good foot. And then we headed down to the field, so I missed the release. But basically, Smokey just put his head down and then went, oh, actually, I'm someone new. So Smokey hasn't actually been turned out um, for about three, four months because of the restrictions on the previous livery yard, um, which is part of the reason that we've moved. And he was so happy to be out. I was absolutely ecstatic to see him on grass and to see him stretching those little legs. His brain has been absolutely fried from being in a stable, um, but due to various reasons, I couldn't move him before this. So I've basically found a yard that he can live, like he can get turned out all year. Um, he obviously just has to come in on an evening during winter, but he's not going to be restricted to a stable and It's got amazing facilities. We'll come on to that further into the video But this is just Smokey enjoying himself and there's a big grey to the left of him And I think he thinks it's like a giant Smokey because he absolutely loves it since this video has actually become really quite attached to that grey So once Smokey had settled fully in the field, it was then time to go and prepare his stable. So this is his new stable. Um, I've just put the rubber matting down. So this is what we took out of Carol's old stable, but her new one had mats and um, mine didn't. So he's got rubber matting. It's a really nice stable. Um, it just needs a bit of a brush out um, to be looking a little bit tidier, but it's really nice. It's indoor. It's much more airy and much more spacious for smoke. So I think it's going to settle a lot better. And also, I'm putting him on shavings. I absolutely hated having him on straw before, but it was just, well, it's the only option that the livery yard had, otherwise I ever had to buy my shavings in. Whereas this livery yard, they provide it for me. Um, so I decided to pop him on shavings just because I think it's a lot easier. Um, he won't eat his bedding, which he did with the straw, and I find it a lot quicker for mucking out and things like that. So I just needed to set up his stable for him coming in later. So I popped lots of shavings in and decided to make him a really nice big bed, which normally on the first night I wouldn't bother because obviously he's going to wreck it anyway, but I thought just make him a nice big one, it'll be nice. 
So I don't at this point have a shavings fork. Red Gorilla are kindly going to be sending me a order of a few items shortly. So at the minute I'm having to use my old straw fork um, just to break it up. I think I'll just borrow one of my mum's shavings forks until um, my new items arrive. And there we go. So that is his stable all set up for the evening. Um, it'll be interesting to see what Mr. Smokey comes in like. But yeah, that is his stable. And only two um, shaving bales did this. So that's really good. The shaving here are really nice. I think they're the, the farm actually makes their own. So he does have this that you can spin in and out, but I know he will chew on it, so I've decided to just keep that outside for now. And he has buckets anyway, so I don't really need a fixed bucket. And then he has an automatic water drinker, which I'm just about to clean out. But this is so much better than having buckets, because I absolutely hate buckets. <laughs> and he also has automatic water in the field, so it's going to make my life so much easier. So here he is, Mr. Smokes. No. I headed down just to check him after I'd set up his stable, and he was more interested in trying to drink my Sprite than he was in anything else. He seems to have settled really quickly and really well on the yard, so I'm so happy. He is a little bit of a stress head, um, as we all know, and from being stuck in a stable for so long. Um, but I think he's going to do really well here. He just seems to... I don't know, he seemed to settle really quickly for Smokey. But of course, he's still enjoying stretching his legs. So later on, and I fetched Smokey up, and it was quite difficult to bring him in because he was quite strong. Um, but he did come up fairly well. So this was his chance for him to meet his new neighbours. So the two horses either side of him in the stable aren't the ones that are near him in the field. So I just gave him the chance to sort of come in, get used to being in his new stable for the first time, and say hello to the ladies either side of him. I think one's a lady. I'm not sure about the other one, actually. Um, but to say hello to the horses either side of him. But Smokey being Smokey, he was more interested in food and his hay net. So, having settled and seemed okay, I changed his rug and left, and left him for the evening. Good boy. Already wrecked your bed. A oh, good boy. A hey, good boy. Good morning, guys. So, it is now the next day. Um, yesterday, Smokey came up quite stressful. He's quite at... It's quite... Not bullshit, but he's really strong on the ground. So... Turning him in and turning him out are going to be the hardest parts at the moment just because he's unsure of his surroundings. So he is quite re reactive and just going out very flustered or coming in very flustered. Well, he came in alright last night. Um, so what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to go and pick my mum up on the way down to the yard. Just so she can give me a hand turning him out. Um, because my ankle is still really bad and that's why I've been struggling to do um, things on my own with him. Just because if he plays up. I've only got one good leg to kind of hold him on. So she's going to come and walk down with me so that if he, like, plays up or anything, she can just grab him. Um, but, yeah, it's quite early. I wanted to get up early today uh, so I can get him out of the stable quick because if he's left in while others are turning out, um, while he's still settling in, he'll get stressed. So that's why I'm up early. So it's about quarter to seven now. Ted's making little piggy noises. I'm going to bring him to my mum's and leave him there. Um... But yeah, I'm hoping to start working him today. So the plan this morning is just to get down there, turn him out, muck him out. I don't know how much of that I'll get to film. I'll film more as the week goes on, because obviously at the minute I'm just focusing on smoking, getting him done. Um, but yeah, it's going well so far. He seems to have settled in quite nicely. So hopefully give him a week and he'll be nice and chilled. Okay, so again, I didn't get a chance to film it, but I turned Smokey and Bo out. Um, they were actually really good going down to the field. As you can see, this is Smokey's new field. I didn't really show you yesterday, but it's really long. Um, so he, it's nice and narrow and long, which means he can actually get a good gallop track up there. And as I said, it's automatic waterers. So that's brilliant. Even when it freezes in water, the um, yard seed to the water. So like you never have to carry buckets, which is super for me. And then over here... He has a sleeper which you can add a hay net to, you know, if the if you need any 
if the grass isn't coming through or whatever but the ground is really nice it's sand and um, but they do fertilize so they get plenty of grass in the summer which is amazing so this is him having been brought up for the second time and again you can see he's a little bit calmer He's sort of getting used to all his surroundings now, getting into his routine of going out and coming in because obviously he was just stuck in a stable before. So I'm going to show you um, all the facilities on the yard as I go through so you'll see them in my vlogs but for now I'll show you a few bits and bobs. So I now have my own bay. So this is my own section to put all of my items which is so much better because on the last yard we had like the tiniest section um, to keep all of our uh, tack and things in the tack room. There's a separate tack room to this that's locked and alarmed and everything. I also have my own hay so before it was like communal you sort of paid a certain amount and everyone used as much hay and straw as they wanted but I, it got really expensive during winter and I was basically paying for other people's hay and straw so that didn't work. Um, and then I have his boxes in here I won't keep him my rugs I've got my boots and things in there at the moment I need to have a bit of an organised then I have some red gorilla buckets that I'm just using to store some items and then I have another rug box um, with also like his first aid kit some treats some saddle pads in that one as well so just various bits and bobs but it's nice to be able to keep them all in one spot. Then I have his water um, butts that I'm just sh saving for shows. And then these are the spare shavings. So this is the first time of me working Smokey on the yard. I previous The day previous to this I lunged him. Um, but I didn't film that because I was too busy focusing on him. Um, but today it's the first time he's in one of the arenas. So this is the smaller arena um, that's fully enclosed. It's got dressage mirrors and there's a full set of jumps you can put in here if you want. Um, it's a fantastic service. And there is actually another arena. So there's a big show jumping arena with again a full set of jumps and everything. There's also a jumping paddock, there's two lunge pens, there's also a cross country. So as you can see much more facilities and facilities I can use because like at the last place they had a solarium and a shower but I, I never got to use them and I was asking from like September to use them uh, whereas here they're in full use there's no like extra charges for things so I think me and Smokey are going to be much happier um, but yeah so this is our new arena and as always when I'm introducing a horse to a new space that I'm about to work in obviously unless it's a show or something I like to walk him around in hand to get the gist of his reactions, especially with Smokey being young and very reactive quite often. Um, so I just walk him around, get him to calm down, get him to lower his head um, and just get him to see if he's going to be spooky at any particular points just so I'm ready for him when I'm riding him. But he actually walked around really well um, and this surprised me because he has been really spooky in hand recently. So I thought, do you know what, let's jump on board and see how we get on. So as you can see he is a little bit uptight, he didn't really want to lower his head um, which was absolutely fine, I wasn't asking much of him for this being our first ride, I literally just wanted to have fun on him and to see how he went but actually I was amazed, he didn't really spook, he put like one little spook in um, and he was just busy having a look round, he was quite lazy actually um, because he was so busy nosying that he wasn't really going forward which for my first ride I don't mind at all like I say I literally just wanted to get on and trot him round and just get let him get a feel of what's happening let him get into the routine of yeah we're coming here and we're gonna work because the plan is to now have a lot of lessons with my trainer with Smokey um, and to get us really working there's a local riding club I'm going to be joining so now that I have the facilities and now that he is going to be fully turned out um, not in not too long and but for now he's going to be coming in on an evening I can actually start focusing on working him and competing him and now that I have all the jumping facilities that I need um, I think we are going to go far so I'm so excited about my new yard guys um, so now you're watching this video Smokey has been settled in a week so in the next coming videos you'll see a lot more of us exploring the facilities 
having lessons and things like that so let me know in the comments below if you like the look of my new yard um so as I say, the last yard just wasn't for us, unfortunately. Um, he was too restricted in turnout, and also I just couldn't use en enough of the facilities that they actually had. Um, so I'm super happy that I made the move, and I'm really happy that Carol, my hacking partner, has come with me, because there's some brilliant hacks around here as well. So again, you'll be seeing lots more to come, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys!